Right, the final thing I want to mention then, just a couple of applications there of diffraction gratings. Top one, spectral analysis. Um, because the uh, angle of um, the different maxima is affected by the wavelength, light can be split into its spectrum using a diffraction grating um, because the different wavelengths are diffracted by different amounts. And so at each order, you will see a spectrum. You'll see a spectrum um, of whatever light you are shining through. And so if you're shining white light through, for example, you would actually see a full spectrum. But this can also be used to show absorption spectra. Now you talked about absorption spectra in the quantum topic, um, but if you were looking at the spectrum of light, say from a star or from a distant galaxy, you could use a diffraction grating to split that light up and you would see the dark absorption lines where certain wavelengths were missing. And you can do the same for chemicals. Um, gas lamps, if you look at a gas lamp, the discharge tube, say, through a diffraction grating, you will see those specific lines, um, at the wavelengths of the light. So I'm not sure how clear this will be on the camera, but we said that you can use uh, diffraction gratings to see the spectrum of light. So if I put a, a diffraction grating, that's just a normal lamp. If I put a diffraction grating in front of the camera, you can see there, I appreciate it's flickering, but you can see there that you can actually then see the spectrum. Okay, so underneath you can see that that is white light. It's made up of a spectrum. If I'd done that with a gas lamp, that's only made up of a specific wavelengths, as you know from the quantum topic, then we should see the spectral lines. Unfortunately, not being in school at the moment, I don't have a gas lamp at home. Um, as and when I do, I will do a little video to show you. Now, as if by luck, out here I'm on a walk, like I do most days here on lockdown, and I found a sodium street light which is on, so having said I've not got a gas lamp, well I kind of do. Now, this isn't going to work very well, but I can put the um, diffraction grating over the camera. There it is. Now, you can see normally you get a sort of spectrum, but if I look at the sodium street light, I don't. All I see is that yellow. Okay, so all I'm seeing there is the yellow of the sodium. I can even turn it the other way. I still just see that yellow light. I don't see any spectrum. And that, of course, is because sodium is a gas lamp, or sodium is a, is a gas in, in the lamp, so you're only seeing the very, very specific frequencies of sodium, of the differences between the energy levels. And that's how old-fashioned streetlights worked. Now, obviously, it, it doesn't show very well because it's, it's the daytime here, and because it's not a very intense collimated source, you don't get those really, really distinct lines like you would if we did it in a lab. But you can see that you're not seeing a spectrum, you're only seeing the yellow light. And that's because it's a different type of light to the lamp we just looked at um, back in what I would call my uh, recording studio, but it's actually just my spare room. Anyway, I hope that showed you a little bit. Um, it's a good job I carry my diffraction grating with me at all times. You never know when it will come in useful. The second one there, X-ray crystallography, um, uses diffraction, but this time uh, with X-rays instead of uh, visible light. So you shine X-rays at a crystal and the X-rays will diffract. And so then, by looking at the different maxima, using the formula, you can actually calculate the atomic spacing. And you can work out how far apart the atoms are um, in the crystal. And in fact, this idea was used to determine the structure of DNA by looking at how the X-rays um, diffracted. Okay, right, that brings, um, brings this section to a close, really, this section on interference and diffraction. Um, so I hope that's been useful and I will speak to you soon on a future video. In the meantime, um, let me know if you've got any feedback on the videos and I will speak to you soon.